Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to reviewing pro gameplay and reviewing your gameplay, which is exactly what we're doing here today. We've got a member from the Twitch community, and as you can see, I'm here with Twitch chat right now reviewing this gameplay live, so make sure to join in on the action, and we're reviewing Yamat who is also a streamer and a very, very analyti analytical player who has improved his KD tremendously in the past. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through his information. We're going to see his stats. We're going to see what he wants to improve on. And then we are just going to rip into this gameplay to help him improve based on his desired form of gameplay. If you want your gameplay reviewed, make sure to join my Discord. There's instructions in the description about how to have your gameplay reviewed. And if you want to be in on this action, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. Without further ado, let's learn a little bit about Yamat and help him improve at Warzone. Oh, and one other thing, please. This is a new channel. This is the second channel. Do me a favor, drop a like on this video. It helps out the algorithm so much more than you could ever know. Same thing with dropping a comment as well. So for those of you who don't know, we are reviewing Yamat in chat. He's been a longtime viewer. He's also Twitch staff, Munka, and he is a longtime member of the Academy. So we've got his strengths non-game in-depth analysis and focus on a deliberate process as opposed to random reps so he's he's very much like me analytical my streams lately have been focused one playing the match two immediately doing retrospective of key moments in the match and he's taken his lifetime kd from a 0.4 to a 1.1 thanks to his improved or focused improvement my last 100 games ranges from a 1.2 to a 1.5 1.5 kd depending on performance his other strengths rotations using a semi pinwheel pattern from the academy Clear, crisp communication. Even if I'm getting shot at, they're likely uh, where they're shooting from, ongoing commentary, etc. Uh, and then his weaknesses, movement and gun skills. Lately, he's been trying to focus on centering better, so he's prepared for gunfights. And what he wants to improve most is more calculated aggression. He'd like to increase his KD and start finding more kills. His PR is currently 14. Movement and gun skills are his weaknesses above. So, got a lot of stuff to cover here. Things I do like to hear, though, is that he's intentionally trying to get better. Once again, Yamat's Twitch link will be linked in the description if you want to check out his stream. Uh, sounds like he's got a very deliberate process towards getting better. We can see it in his stats, and we're about to see it in some of his gameplay. So, what we're actually going to watch today is, is nice. We're watching a duo, so you guys are going to be able to see a little bit of the comms between the two. There was a note from Yamat, though. Uh, his duo... Uh, we'll call him in is less experienced and so his comms can be a little confusing at time but he's also trying to like in-game lead a, bit, a little bit yamat is because of that okay. sweet so it looks like yamat's going for the truck to get a little bit of that power position instantly goes for a bounty and then finds the bounty inside of here got him no nope. coming Oof. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. So a little risky to push, Got but him. you haven't amped. Nope. Looks like you're starting to get the movement down. I mean, that's like a slide cancel. You said your movement wasn't that good. And it looks like you may have panicked right there as you were trying to shoot and like maybe maybe got stuck on mouse one. Spam Coming. there. Really nice job of kind of like jiggling behind cover while you're reloading and then full sending on your opponent. What I would suggest Coming. for you, you say you're working on your centering. Um, as you're already expecting Coming. to round these corners... For me, as soon as I know, like I, I'm drawing an imaginary line in my eyes, where as soon as I reach that line, I will have a full sight through the window or through the door, right? Right now, the door is blocked off by right here. But by about the time that I reach right here, I should have a full line of sight through it. So what I'm doing as a player, every time I do this, and we saw it with Bread's gameplay, we saw it with the other gameplay we reviewed this week, is I'm going to do something that's going to allow me that the second that I can see through that window, I want to be aimed down sight. You, on the other hand, looks like right now you want to reach that point and then start aiming down sight. So what a pro player will do, what a more experienced player will do will, is start some sort of animation, whether it's a slide, whether it's a slide cancel, or whether it's a jump. Most likely in this scenario, I would just jump. And then we can continue that vertical momentum that you have right now through this tack sprint but then as we start jumping, we can already start our aim down sight process to get our aim down sight so that way we can clear that new angle. Right now, you're caught a little bit behind the curve. Coming. Like, I would jump right there, right? And start already starting my aim down sight. But oh. 
Fortunately, okay, you've got an amp that's uh, got a really uh, fast sprint to fire time. You're able to get the kill. That's just something to think oh, about. Yeah, you okay, you yeah. mentioned that you want to work on your yeah. centering a lot. Okay. Um, okay. Something I always focus on is having my gun okay. ready as I'm clearing a new angle. And it seems so like you were... Uh, Could have been bad timing. Uh, but it seems like you were you were stuck in that sprint animation uh, as you were clearing like, out yeah. a new angle. Yeah. But you probably didn't expect him to reach out after he got cracked. Also, very, very uh, deliberate process. Boy. You get the mark right there. Only thing that I might suggest, because you mentioned you want to get more kills, is having N mark that for you, or you just visually, like, remember. Like me, I can tell myself, oh, that's trip white, or triple white. Like, I, I will never forget, I'm, I'm going towards triple white. And then afterwards, you can be marking these people on the bottom of your map for future rotations. Get more utility out of your UAV that way. Boom, you're rolling up, you're making your adjustments. Okay. Getting out here. You get out a little early, okay, um, sure. but that's totally up to you and your, the confidence you feel with your teammate. Um, I probably would have rolled up a little bit closer because what you can do as you roll up closer is you can really kind of herd them like cattle. If you bring up your vehicle and both of the dots are still in here and you get out of your vehicle right here, now all of a sudden you can go inside of this building and control the high ground of triple white while they are stuck in here like cattle. When you get out this early, that allows them time to say, oh crap, hey, truck's pulling up. And it's not a panic of like, oh, I'm looking out a window and now all of a sudden you're Simtech spamming them or you're taking high ground and shooting down on them. It's like, oh, let's go take triple white. That's a lot easier to hold. So if you're going to be pushing with UAVs, you're going to be punishing people, punish them. I broke. Good comms on your teammate there. Say he broke his broke the uh broke the opponent. You're watching right now because you have two players in transition, right? You see both of these guys that are starting to push in. I would be very, very careful about this. Okay. I don't really suggest, and I don't know if this is affected aimed on sight. I use affected aimed on sight, so that way when I aimed on sight, my field of view is affected, so it's a little bit wider. But you're going to get COD timed one of these days, and you're going to get punished by aiming down sight, focusing on this window, or even over here. At any moment, this player could swing this corner and kill you instantly. Hello. I broke again. I know it's little, and I'm picking apart your gameplay. That's the way it is. But those COD timings, unluckies, if we can prevent it, let's prevent it. Nice. I like that you're pushing up here. I don't like that angle. You're really, really exposed. Shots. Uh, I'm doing armor. I'm down. Down. Yeah. Okay. I'm bad. Okay. I'm gonna we'll talk about this. I want to see your teammate okay. plays out. I got you. Oh my man, sorry. I'm coming through here to get. Pushing. They're on the other side. Okay. Good information that they're pushing. Let's talk about the mistakes we made here, right? So as soon as we don't get that knock, right, and especially when we see a teammate push that you haven't done damage to, right? Because you've got player one and player two. Player one, boom, starts wrapping. Player two instantly swings this corner and goes for like a prone drop shot snipe. The second you see that other player push, if you are not already cracking his skull, you need to reposition. Okay, we always talk about never peeking the same angle twice. Right there. Not only are you peeking the same angle twice, but as you're going back undercover, you see the second player, so now you're peeking two ang you're peeking two players from the same angle that they both already know you're at, and they both have full like damn near full health. So the second you see that, if not here, get the heck out of dodge. But right there, where you see the other one come through, right here, gone. You are never re-peeking that angle again. And that guy swings out pretty wide, pretty aggressive, and ends up getting the kill. Into the gulag, the old gulag. I'm not talking about specific gulag strats here because this gulag's gone. Nice job. Ooh. Nice job using your utility, right? Looks like you played it a little slow. Wait till you got information from the gulag. I actually really like this bounce that clears off the corner. You are a keyboard and mouse player. You know how powerful aim assist is on stuns. When this guy chows you and he is right here aiming at you, you know stuns last like five seconds. A decent controller player will just be able to hold you and rotational aim assist will hold on to you. 
What you need to do is completely destroy any chance of aim assist holding on to it. And you need you say you want to work on your movement. If he's hard stunned, swing behind him. All it takes is a slide and a 180 and shoot him in the back. Otherwise, rotational aim assist will get you killed. Or at the very least, especially in squad gunfights, you'll take a lot more damage than you need to. You can see there you what took two shots. Slide. Gone. Get around him. Get behind him. Don't aim down sight until you're looking at the back of his head. Yo, yo. But nice win. Looks uh, like you go to pick up your loot from the loadout. Eight. That's enough for him to fight. Uh, yep. Okay, if I'm you, right? You see that guy right there coming down on blue. He's not gonna fight. I always talk about it. Anytime I'm pushing through transition, right especially since you want to improve your movement, right here. Uh, yep. Like you don't really plan on challing right here, right? Okay. Maybe you do. Because, Maybe okay. you feel confident. Oh, I'm Anytime I'm going through an open after. field, I'm always pulling out. My gun where I can run faster. He's on the what you're floor. doing right now with your OTS. Good job. Ooh, way to get in there. Really nice job. He's on the bottom floor. When you call it, he's on the bottom floor. I might also calm, wait for me. Especially if you see him in there and he's clearing. And he's not the most experienced player in the world. It's a 1v1. They're going to go for the thirst. You get in there just in time. And get the get the knock and thirst. If I hadn't been there, you'd be dead. <laughs> yeah. So that's one of the things I excel at best, and clearly you're a very calculated player as well. Okay. It's not just understanding what you need to do to keep yourself yeah, alive, but what your uh, squad needs to do to excel. Kind of right? You guys aren't focused on who's getting X amount of kills. You're focused on winning as a squad. Give that calm to your teammate, especially a less experienced one. <laughs> I'm five seconds behind. You hold up, or wait five seconds. We'll push together. You know, just something like yeah, that. Well, you gave me the yeah. information. <laughs> no, I knew, I knew it was in the house, and I, but I didn't know he had picked it up. Ah, it's fixed on stream, and you, uh, not yet in recordings. Okay, so the audio sounds good on record or on stream. Oh, good to know. Okay, making your rotations, getting your free loadout. Uh, we we saw it in the description. His buddy didn't have an extra SMG for him, right? Because his buddy didn't end up dying. Um, his buddy already had loadout, so they were actually able... Yeah. I don't have an SMG. He didn't have an SMG for him. But, yeah. but he was able to kind of make do. And now he's double time, ghost, combat scout. He's grabbing the bullfrog, and then he's using kind of like a half-leveled up aura. All right, fine. And now it seems like you guys are making Wanna... a pretty intentional yeah, pinwheel rotation time around time. the edge of the zone to okay. stay safe. You, you talked about how you want to get more kills... You can do the pinwheel rotation that we talked about years ago and still use a vehicle alongside of it to get the most value out of clearing that area. The back of you is now cleared and you're catching all of those stragglers rotating in. But it also comes with the increased risk of showing up on a radar. Yeah, they're engaging each other. Cool. Okay. Oh, oh shoot. They're, they're coming our way. I'm, I'm falling back. Uh, okay. I'm hiding here. Yeah, that team's shooting after them. Okay. So it looks like you guys are trying to set up a third party here. You're both ghosted, so you can move a little bit more aggressively. Just keep in mind, like, even if you want a third party, you're not going to be able to third party from this distance. Like, I, I understand the hesitation of, like, I mean, no one wants to push a fair 2v2. I want to push a team that's completely straggling, right? But back from this distance, if you hear the gunshots and you get the marks over here, you're not going to get anything done with a third party. You can maybe get something done in here, possibly from the tents, or like maybe waiting kind of right on this ramp until you hear more gunshots, and then you initiate in. Even if you started hearing people downed, or you saw someone maybe get like downed right here and like crawl back undercover over here, you're not going to be able to capitalize from this distance. They got out here. Get to that vehicle. Especially with the zone oh, on your back, I would start making... Oh, shooting range is the most moves. wanted. Yeah, yeah I see. Oh, man. You've got the most wanted. Go ahead and pull that up on your mini map and mark him so you can actually see him live in front of you. And in these moments of transition, car. I don't have my far out. I have my bullfrog. I want that faster movement Ryan. speed. As soon as I'm going to clear an angle, like here, I pull out my far out. Going into the gas. Nice shots, though. What I will say, though, for, for, for a mouse and keyboard player, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Okay, pretty, pretty quick, you start to find, you go up and you go down and you find your horizontal. But more importantly than that, or I guess just as important, 
is the pacing. Going into the gas. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna slow it I'm down. Here. Yes, into the gas. Okay. Jerk. Hey, so like look at all of these hard pulls that you're making in your aim. Hard pull. Yes. Hard pull. Hard pull. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. What you should be doing is gradually speeding it up. Okay, now I need to go a little bit slower. Gradually speeding it up, like trying to match, but you're like a little bit, a little bit too snappy. See how, see how jerky that is. Everything should be very, very, very gradual. Yes, come back to us. I broke him, nice. killed him. Good work. Nice. Good work. Nice. Good work. nice. Team wipe. Killing it. That guy ended up having to make a 180 because he was going to drive into the gas. Yeah. You guys had done enough damage there that he was going to die. You still end up getting the kills. Okay. Get there you go. Uh, now you're pulling out the bullfrog yeah. while you're transitioning. Nice Let little slide cancels out of you. You've got auto attack sprint enabled. Dying. I can get up in time. I'm going to assume he was in here. Kind of diligently clearing. I love all this out of you. You're clearing it as if you expect someone to be there. Stopping, kind of jiggling for a little bit. Playing very calculated. Nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. You know there's a team to our southeast somewhere. You say, hey, I know there's a team to our southeast somewhere. That's talking about that team that was in, <laughs> in the truck. What you can do is, like, mark that truck or, like, pull up your map. And it's like, okay, sweet. Well, now we know for sure. That truck that you were talking about is still in the gas. So those players most lo likely rotated in somewhere over here. So, okay. unfortunately, yeah. because yeah. of how slow you guys were moving... Sure. I mean, uh, you, you spent okay. a lot of time in the combat re okay. in the recon drone. And it pulled quite a, quite a ways away. You know, a team. But that three minutes went by really quick. Uh, okay. When you're not rotating with the vehicle, when you're rotating with your AR pulled out, out. you definitely missed an opportunity to kill a bounty. But they also were rotating away from you. So, can't always get the most out of it. I like this, though. The last piece of information that you had was them being up in this village. So now is where you can say, okay... Just take a little bit of a breather. Go a little bit more tactical. To this is totally fine. To make here. I want to go for this building. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. To me. Okay. We're gonna go, go super wide. Enemy UAV okay. overhead. Really nice job there. Making a deliberate rotation. Trying to figure out where you're wanting to go. But as you make this rotation. You're making this rotation in a pinwheel fashion. But you always, and we talked about it in the pinwheel, we want to make adjustments to the pinwheel based off of our nearest piece of cover. So we rotate from here out to here, which is like total no man's land. I would rather rotate here where we've got this ridge line for cover and when then we can work to the next ridge line and then go up into triple white. You don't necessarily have to wrap all the way wide. The other thing you heard, advanced UAV overhead. That is this shed right there. That's map knowledge, but if you hear advanced UAV, you might consider that a team just hit a red door right there. But like all of this, that is a lot, a lot, a lot of dead space. I would have much rather just hit a beeline from the ridge that's right about there to the ridge that's right about here. And I definitely would not be aiming down sight in the middle of this no man's land. And I would be running with my bullfrog. I know I've said it. Pulling out the Wait bullfrog now to get to get the clear inside okay. of the building, though. Okay. Nice right. job. I like the aggressive yeah. clears. Those you're a little bit quieter as you come up. Yep. Make sure you're clearing with your SMG. Okay. Nice job. My nice slide okay. cancels. Took a summit chopper. Okay. I personally okay. would, before Someone... I pull up my map, I would okay. clear off these two corners. Okay. They were headed. I lost them, but they were headed southish. South. Oh yeah, bar, bar. No easy hold. West, far away. Yeah, we can hold on that. Fucking you, safe zone. Okay, right, holding power now. position. Go high and white. Okay. Okay. Yep, and you just decide to rotate early, which I love. I absolutely love. You say, let's go high and wide. If you wait too long on a rotation like this, especially since that zone is, it, you have a like a talk. really long path, right? That that zone's gonna close pretty quick on this side. I instantly would rotate early into this one, try to establish dominance, possibly in police, and then one of two options: either work my way up this hill. Mm, yeah, that's probably the play I would make. If I were you, same thing. Rotate early, kill whoever's in police, and then take this hill right here, which is all cover from down the line. While I'm rotating, though, 
There was a heli that was up here earlier. That most likely means there's a team that was up on this hill. So we have to make sure we're keeping an eye out on that as well. All right, let's rotate now. Go high and white. Careful of the police. Oh, yeah, I see the recon. Uh, hold, hold, hold. Um, Got a helicopter oh, coming a lot up. Of... So keep in mind, we have not cleared out these individual buildings. This is where your bounty was earlier. So if you are going to hold in the middle of a transition, make sure you are sitting somewhere, maybe like right here, where I can get cover from what is behind us that we have not 100% cleared out. Right now, you say hold, you can get your head ripped off from your lower lower left. Okay, now you do literally exactly what I told you. <laughs> Chopper's landing. Oh, the, the guy parachuted out. He's uh, over by my pen. Oh, there's oh, a team of two up there. Yep, those are the guys that were most likely uh, up yeah, on the hill take, earlier. Take this slow. Yeah. I'm and then that, you're I mean. doing a good job. You're marking... But you know right now those guys have the power position, right? You have to rotate into them. You need to rotate earlier so that way the gas is less of a factor. As soon as you see, oh shit, those guys are probably going to hold us, make, get, get time on your favor. As soon as you see that and they don't see you, immediately rotate into police because you know you're going to have to deal with them. But instead, we, we waste 15 okay. seconds. Not Wait, a team kill. Okay. No, I don't know, but I'm getting my eyes on those guys. You guys are both ghosted. They're going high. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those gonna... guys are going high. Yeah. Right yeah, I see. Good shots. Nice. Actually, come to me. So those guys were probably the guys that came here, rotating to this building, and were rotating up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love the slide cancels. High. Your slide cancels are actually really clean for someone who said they don't have good movement. Your slide cancels look nice. Yeah, I see. Good shots. Good corrections. Nice little movement, little, you know, little jump or something in between enemies. No, that, that is a teammate. Let's get to the safe. Oh, okay. Fine, listen. Getting shot at from the police. Okay. Okay. I'm checking. Plating. Oh, man. Once again, if I'm out in the open, I love that technique right there. You saw someone unsuppressed shooting at you. As soon as I'm in the in the open and I know I'm not going to immediately reach out, I pull out my weapon. If I'm going to get undercover, I pull out my SMG so I can get undercover faster. Plating. I don't think you understand oh, how right. much slower you move. Okay. A really nice job finding that guy out in the open. Gas mask there, satchel, ammo crate. Still more shots to the... But, to the ooh, side. man, that gas on your back is really, really, really going to cost you. Once again, moments of transition. Out. Unless we're ready to pre-aim an angle, get that bullfrog out so we can move faster. I'm going to stop mentioning it because I know I'm mentioning it a lot, but it does make Shots a massive, massive difference. And then while we're here... We do not jiggle peak the hills to the west. right here, okay? When we jiggle peak, it is not while we are exposed to the entire world, okay? We jiggle peak Probably. so that way we can go from behind cover and we can only see here, right? And then we step forward to right here and now all of a sudden we can see the entire world and we're back and forth in between there. We are not jiggle peaking right here while we always have constant exposure to the entire world, we are jiggle peeking in between here where we are safe and looking at this angle on the back end. And then once we get to the front end, now we've got a little bit more information. I'm picking apart your gameplay, but this is, this matters. And then boom, I love this. Pack sprint, moving towards a piece of cover. What's going on above us? Got it. Shots it towards brick. But I really, I really honestly kind of worry about this, okay, here, right? Because if yep. anyone were to aim up at you, your back is to a hill. You have no cover. So you basically have to win this fight. Like if they were to ego child you, you're dead here. Make sure my very first thought as I'm making this wrap, you mark this guy earlier, right? Please, please, please look to the top right and clear oh, that off. Went into that house. You were tunnel visioned hard on these kills. You could have someone on the top of the hill right now ripping both of your heads off. You haven't so cleared off the, the top of the hill right. once. Took some hits. Uh, it's giving me anxiety. He's coming out, reviving his buddy. Clear off the top of the hill. These guys are trapped in the gas and you are pushing out of cover. You mutt! At any point, you could have lost this game from fire down this hill, fire on the high ground. Okay, I, you, you want these kills, right? I want these kills. I want more kills up, right? right. The second you oh, round yeah. this, you have now exposed yourself to an entirely new line of sight.
just went into that house. And while you have a little bit of cover from these wood sticks, that may be more accidental than intentional. The guy in the right, and I right. still haven't seen you clear up that hill. Uh, hit him a little bit. He's coming out, reviving his buddy. Push it. And you are just screaming okay. to the world. Okay, going. 15 seconds until this zone moves. By the time they get in there, they are going to be fully plated with their close range weapons. You are now announcing to the world with that stun Sun and with that Simtex that you are okay. pushing them. They are now expecting you, and you have forced what would have been a super easy gatekeep into a very skill-intensive 2v2 with your back exposed to the world who most likely would be shooting you if you were in a sweaty lobby. Going wide. You're also clearing out close, right? Pull out your bullfrog. Going in. He's in here. Okay, I killed him. Killed him. It's not a team wipe. What? Not a team wipe. Okay. Yeah, watch the gas. But... Yeah, man, you, you could have taken this top hill. You could have taken so many other angles and cleared them out because now you are the ones making an awkward transition. Anyone from here could have shot down on you or up on the hill. You're very lucky to not to not be getting punished here. There's probably someone in these buildings. Now is not the time to be making a stationary look. If you want to, like, run, you notice how when we watch Breadman, he slides and then he, like, he slings left, right. He sprints. He slides. He slings left, right. In those little things, he's just looking for a little bit of piece of movement out of his periphery. What he is not doing okay. is stopping and looking. You're either jumping and you're bee hopping and you're looking, or you're sliding and you're looking. Okay. On this edge. But okay. like this, like this positioning. I like four now teams. that you're clearing out the high ground. Left, four others. Dropping five other players. Okay. Making a great calm out to your teammate. Hey, five other players, five other squads. That also means, I believe. There's only one other squad that's a duo. Everyone else is solo stragglers. Got it. Gas is moving in. Hold here. Okay. Okay. I like this call to hold here, actually. This is one where I would say, hey, play the pinwheel. Making sure we're crouching. We're not drawing a lot of attention to ourselves. There's no rush to push those guys. Right here, I would be skeptical about actually stopping to map and mark, right? Because we haven't cleared out inside of this tunnel. You could get sniped. Last circle, don't be standing still. You can just know, okay, I've got one guy top left. That's literally all you need to think in your head is one guy top left. I have a gas mask so I can slow play it. Okay. Same. Great comms that you can slow play it. Keep jiggling, man. At any point, someone could peek here. Both of you other teams, four other players. should be doing this okay. for the next 30 seconds. Or this. Right? Okay. Nice job. Let's get to the safe zone. Really make sure that gas does not touch your back because if either one of you cough... You're going to be yeah, exposed to the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Keep in mind where you're positioning your gun. Your gun and the scope is still blocking off two areas that you have never cleared. Right? Good centering on where someone may come out of, but it's also costing you information. Everyone else is solo. Right? You haven't cleared out that tunnel yet. Oh. And people love to camp in that tunnel because in that tunnel... There are some barricades, right? There's like a whole set of barricades that people love to prone out in right here. Boop. Boop. At any point, you could have had your head ripped off this. by not clearing all, that. They're all there. Puppy. Gotta be careful making footstep noises there. But now you commit. Keeping an eye on your top left. I'm actually really liking the slow pace, but really intentionally clear out your lower right, man. Like I said, I'm okay with this. This isn't, you know, the worst positioning in the world for an yeah. in-game. Okay. Uh, grenading. Throwing stun. I'm going white. Okay. Nice. Oh, I just oh, wish you would... Fast. I'm not going to say it. Pull out the bullfrog. Rotate faster. Nice power position here. Love it. All targets eliminated. What? Whoa. Oh, what? whoa. Awesome. Yeah, good job. You were playing it really well, though. You were going to win this regardless. I'm going white. I'm going white. Okay. I maybe would have stopped at that pull. Because that's a pretty open rotation. But Incray is also holding him off. Most likely would have stopped you from getting beamed. That guy died in the gas. What? You got the dub. Oh, what? whoa. Awesome. Yeah, good job. <laughs> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, you, I mean... Your shots are solid. 
I think you could Im improve some of your long range tracking. I didn't see, get to see a lot of gunfights, but I saw kind of like the jitteriness of the long range. But I, I'm just more like pushing you to play with urgency because that's what you mentioned in your brief is that you wanted to start getting higher kill games. You're a good IGL with good comms. Your shots are pretty good. You've got the movement mechanics down. Like I didn't see any messed up slide cancels. You've got the movement mechanic down. It's just playing with that little bit more of sense of urgency when the gas is going to be a factor. Being more paranoid about when you expose yourself to a new angle, especially in the late game where you haven't cleared that entire angle, that you need to be like, okay, that's clear. And now I can focus on beaming them. Okay, let me check real quick while I'm reloading. I'm going to check my flank. Okay, I'm going to go back over there. And like, there are a lot of opportunities here where you very easily, very, very easily could have been punished. We got lucky that there weren't players holding the power positions. You understand power positions and how to make rotations. Here's the way I would think about it. As soon as you see the new circle, you have something in your mind of where the next place is that you need to be. And I love that. But your intentionality and your urgency in between those moments need some work. But outside of that, man, I, I feel like I definitely can see the improvement. You're a very intentional player. Um, and yeah, I would be more than happy to like continue to check out your streams. Especially if you're like constantly, constantly, constantly picking apart your own gameplay and other people's gameplay uh, to help improve. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, drop a like on it, subscribe. The Iceman Isaac Academy second channel is still very new, so make sure you are subscribed. Comment down below to help me out in the algorithm. Let me know over on the Discord if I can review your gameplay. Check out Yamat over on Twitch and me over on Twitch for more educational Warzone content. Peace.